Hello, hello, and welcome back to the second ever episode of the Not An R series. So, uh, we've had a bit of a, sh a mishap in the Scirocco. I was driving along, doing about 60, 70 mile an hour on a dual carriageway, and a pigeon straight down in front of me. Nothing I could do, I had someone on my left, someone behind me, so it's eaten through the front grill, basically. Thankfully, the radiator and that's fine, so it is just replacing the grill. So I'm gonna bring you along for the ride, so it's gonna be removing the bumper and changing the lower center grill. So let's get to it. Don't worry guys, I've cleaned out all the bird. But as you can see, not ideal when I've had the car for less than a month. But yeah, time to get fixing. So there are five, so there's one here, one there, one there, one there, and one down there as well that we need to take off. On the top, you've just got that one, that one, that one, and that one's come off. And then you've obviously got the same as the other fender roll down there. There is also another one sort of tucked in up here, but we're gonna, I'll show you that when I take it off. So you just wanna get your socket set and start undoing all of the bolts to remove the bumper. To be honest, you need to do this. It's not one of those ones where you can remove the center grill from the front because all of the clips are on the back. Once you've undone all of those bolts in the fender well, you can see this vertical bolt, which is unaccessible until you've undone all the other ones. So on the bottom of the bumper, there are nine bolts. There's three at the end, three in the center section, and then three at the other side. I always leave the top bolts until last because when you're removing the bumper, once you've pulled the both sides out, it will still remain attached to the car and not smash straight onto the floor. Yeah. So because of all this bloody witchcraft can't actually get to it very well so this is gonna be fun to film maybe I'll stick you inside the bumper like down there or something but let's get the new one out so we can work out how to take the old one off without breaking everything in sight so with a ton of research I ended up finding the part number and I found that it was actually cheapest and easiest to get one of these sensor grills direct from VW. I think it cost me about 70 pounds, which is pretty sweet. So first thing you're gonna to need to do is remove the two wind deflectors. So you push the two clips down, push on the top, push the two bottom clips up and then pull it out. So as you'll see, if you're doing this on your car, these have little uh, prongs poking through, which then have a clip on the grill, which is sort of threaded over and through it, to sort of pin it in. My biggest thing is get a set of pliers and screwdrivers and honestly just take your time. It is really frustrating and really annoying, but you just have to go really slow and steady because you do not want to break these clips. I did find that the best way to go about it though was that once you'd sort of wheedle the screwdriver in to give it a bit of room, if you pull the grill out and away from it, it wouldn't necessarily re-clip back in on its own. So once you got one out, move on to the next one and just rinse and repeat for the thousands of clips holding this thing on. One thing I did realize though, was the bottom section I was really, really struggling with. It was clipping itself back in because it seemed really tight and I couldn't get the bottom portion of it to unclip. But what I've realized now, and when I've, you know, post doing it, is that that inside yeah. dust guard, I guess, can be removed, which is then gives you access to all the other clips. So definitely do that first, unlike me who left it till last. So to remove that, there's these little prongs where they sort of hook down into the bumper. Flick all of those up and then there's one at each end and then just slide it out out of the way and that'll give you access to the clips for the bottom part of the center grill. So with the entire center grill removed, 
Now it's time to re-put the new one in. Trust me, take your time. You do not want to be trying to unclip your brand new center grill, worrying about breaking it when you've just spent all that time removing the old one. Just take your time, make sure when it clips in, it clips in the correct side. These sort of little prongs going into the correct side of the grill because you don't want to be removing them all over again. If you're not getting that nice click noise like in the first clip, then use a screwdriver to arrange the prong so it slots into the correct portion of the center grill and then you should get that nice click where it's nice and secure. So with the center grill replaced, we just need to do the reverse of the disassembly. So now we need to put the bottom dust guard back in, and then we need to put the wind deflectors back in and then reinstall the bumper. So we've gone from this, which obviously took a bird strike, and this bloody thing, get out of here, to that. Look at that beauty. It's a bit of a colour difference, but no doubt it'll fade into uh, the dull grey, which maybe we'll spray paint at some point. But if we do that, we're doing it on the car. And that concludes today's episode, guys. So I am covered in... I don't even want to know and I'm glad that we're continuing the trend of every time I try to work on cars uh, it becomes super super hard so glad that trend's continuing with the Northern R series so uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode guys it was really tough I don't know how much it would cost to get it fitted but if if I'm honest I wouldn't say no to it if I'm honest it's been three hours and a lot of pain of catching and really worrying about breaking my bumper. So uh, it's a bit of a trade off. I mean, the actual grill itself was only 70 quid from VW it's like themselves. So the grill wasn't that expensive. Labor would make it expensive, but it's still cheaper than a whole bumper if you then end up breaking it. So it's a bit of a toss up. Please leave a comment down below if you have any comments or any tips, because no doubt, you know, if I own this car for a very long time, it may happen again, so I may be doing this video for the second time. Hopefully not though, because it was awful. <laughs> so please like, subscribe and share, and I will see you in the next episode. Cheers guys.